Hey guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today I'm going to show you how to make a balloon mermaid. I just love this mermaid. This is based on a design that was shown to me by uh, Just Maria Marie Daydow, now known as uh, the Balloon Dress Queen. Um, I think that she got parts of it from somebody else. I don't know the exact history of the whole balloon, but um, anyways, here we go. So we start with the 260. This is using a combination of 260s and 160s. This is one that if you make at a party, everybody is going to be like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. I love you. Um, come back every year. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to twist off the head, uh, making it about the size of your thumb. And then we're just going to kind of clip that in our fingers while we ready the next piece of the balloon. Now we're going to use a 160, which is not quite fully inflated. You may or may not use the whole balloon. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of stretch because we are going to put it through a little bit of abuse. And we want to fold it in half and give it a twist. And then we're going to wrap it around that, uh, that uh, connection point that we just made. And then we're going to bring it up to the nozzle like this and wrap the nozzle around it and then kind of put it inside to lock it. Okay, and now we're going to take the 260, the end that still has some, uh, some room for the air to move, and we're going to make just this tiny little loop, just like that. That's going to be her bangs, and, or fringe if you're in England. And then we're going to make a tiny little pinch twist at the top of her head, like this, and pinch and twist and put it like that. So then we have this. And now we're going to take these two balloons here and bring it down like that and crisscross it. And I'm just going to put another little tiny pinch twist there. And now I'm going to spiral it together just like so. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of pull her head out a little bit and tuck her, tuck her bang in a little bit like that. And so there we have our mermaid head. Now I'm going to put this away for just a moment while I take out my green balloon. For my green balloon, I'm going to make a bubble and pinch twist it like so. And then pinch twist it again like so. And one more time. So we have three pinch twists. Now I'm going to come down, oh, I guess about, about eight inches or so, basically like a, a little bit more than a full hand spread, and I'm going to make two loops. And then I'm going to bring this one back up, and I'm going to spiral them together so that I have just a little bubble left, which I'm going to kind of twist around and into those pinch twists, just like so. Okay, now on these little uh, bubbles, these loops here, I'm just going to take it and kind of make it about like two-thirds and, and one-third. So like you would um, a parrot face. Like that. So that just kind of gives the, the fins a little bit of definition, the tail. And we've got two more, our two more uh, 160s here. Um, we've got a blush to match her body and a purple, which is going to be her bathing suit top. So we're going to start with the blush, and we're going to make a little hand. So we make a little tiny bubble, and now we're going to make a tiny little dog leg. So twist a bubble, and then go back. And then just to lock it, I'm going to push it through, and then I'm going to kind of give it a little bend so it stays there. And then I'm going to come back up. So this is going to be her hand and her forearm and her um, upper arm, and then now I want to make a tiny little loop, and that's going to be her shoulder. And this is where we need to connect our next balloon. Okay, so you see I've left a, kind of a long tail on this one, and we're going to twist it around like that. Okay, now, here's where the critical part comes. We're making a tiny little bubble in the blush, and then we're mirroring it with a bubble in the purple that's slightly larger, just like this. Okay, and now I'm going to make a tiny, tiny, tiny pinch twist in the purple, just like that. Hey, hey. And then I'm going to lose my balloon. And now I'm going to come up and I'm going to do the same thing. Again, you see we have another little bubble in the blush. And then another 
slightly larger bubble in the purple, and we're going to twist those around. And now we're going to come back and mirror this side with the blush. So we're going to make a tiny little loop, like that. And actually, we want to put a tiny little purple pinch twist here. And that's just going to kind of hold everything tight. And then we're going to finish off this arm, give it another little bend there, and kind of try to measure it to make sure that, you know, make them more or less even. Come here, make a little bubble, another bubble, and then we can get rid of the rest of that and tie this off. This is not necessarily a beginner balloon here. <laughs> Okay, and push that one through. All right, now we're going to take our mermaid, um, mermaid head and body, and we're going to twist a small little bubble for the neck. And we're going to add her uh, bathing suit and, and top to this. And then we're going to bring this purple one around it. So basically, we're not twisting it into the neck, we're wrapping around. And then we're going to finish this off here and make another tiny little purple bubble, another purple uh, pinch twist, small one, just like so. Okay, and then kind of organize everything so that everything goes back to where it's supposed to, and we'll get rid of the rest of, the, the rest of this purple balloon. Okay, and now just kind of measure down whatever seems more or less appropriate with the, um, with the tail. Okay, so we're going to twist that off, and then just twist it right into those into that set of pinch twists there on the tail, just like so. And then we'll get rid of that. And then I usually, <laughs> squeaking a, a lot here, um, I usually like to position her so it looks like she's kind of sitting or kind of lounging on a rock. I'll usually give her tail a little bit of a, of a curve like that. Um, I want to, it's kind of hard to do this backwards and upside down, but uh, I want to bring her arms. I usually will kind of position them, you know, good, nice, good girl, good girl hands like that. And then we'll get rid of all the, uh, the little untidies, the little balloon, balloon guts, I call them. Okay, we'll do the same on the back here, and then it's time to do the artwork. Now, I am not so skilled with a pen, so I keep my artwork very, very simple. Um, so basically, let's see, I'm going to turn around here for you so that you can see what I do, because I can't do this backwards and upside down. Basically, I just kind of make a little black dot, and then kind of go up and the eyes like that. I'm going to make a little nose and a slight smile. And I do that in black. Give her some little eyebrows. And a belly button. Because people always check. And then I'm going to take my pink one and I'm going to give her just a tiny little mouth. You know, a little, just a little bit of lipstick there. A little kind of heart shape. And then I'm going to take my blue marker and just kind of go in her eyes a little bit, like that. Then I might kind of like curl up her hair too. And there we have, let's turn her, there we go. And so there we have an adorable, let's fix that there, there we go, an adorable mermaid that will make any girl's day, or boy, I mean, mostly girls, but sometimes boys request it too. And uh, yeah, so there you go. And if you like this, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you tell your friends to subscribe to my channel and that they tell their friends to subscribe. And uh, also leave me a comment and tell me what else you want to learn. I'm making a video every single week, 52 videos a year. Uh, some of them are small things like this, some of them are hats, some of them are giant things, basically anything and everything, balloon art, and there we go. So, until next time, 
Go forth and balloonify!